What's up everybody and welcome back to another wood brew video. Today we are showing you guys how we built this kitchen island. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, you can go ahead and click that red subscribe button underneath this video. So here Dylan is going ahead and cutting down our sheets of plywood to become our cabinet carcasses. Here we are making small passes using our trap saw to create the foot kick at the bottom of the cabinet. We're going to go ahead and rip down another sheet of plywood to create the bottoms of our cabinets and to create the pieces to make our drawers. Now if you want to see on how we made our drawers, there will be a link in the description to a video we made this past week. We're going to go ahead and edge band the front faces of our cabinets before we paint and we're using this iron on edge banding from the home center. To trim up our edge banding, we use this really handy tool. There will be a link in the description. Now we're going to cut the cross support pieces to go between each of the drawers and our door. We didn't use a nail gun on this entire project. We used these little finished head screws that just like sink into the wood and you can patch them up, fill them and paint right over them. I will try to find a link for them and put them in the description for you guys. We'd like to thank today's sponsor, Pure Bond Plywood. Now we've been using it for over a year now and we are really enjoying it. It's formaldehyde free so you don't have to worry about any of the harsh chemicals. It's exclusively available at the Home Depot and there are links for more info below. We went ahead and put our drawer slides while the cabinet was still on that side, but we did make a short video on how to install drawer slides. Link will be in the description. Using our jigsaw, we are rounding off the top to create the mid-century modern look. Using our track saw, we are cutting out the space for the stove to slide into. We are putting shelves on one side of the cabinet and we are using pocket hole screws to connect it to the cabinet and the piece of tubing is going to help support it from the floor. We are just attaching the top to the cabinet by putting in some screws but it's not finished yet. While Dylan is finishing up some stuff at the shop, I decided to go ahead and go over to the house and finish painting it, and Dylan did a really good job picking out this color. The next two shelves are going to be connected by the tubing at the ends, but they will also be screwed in from inside the cabinet to the back. decided to put Formica on the shelves as well and we are also putting a piece of flat bar aluminum on the edges to create the retro look. Now it's time to add the Formica. If you haven't used Formica before it is super easy to put on. All you do is brush some contact cement onto the side that you're putting it on and the Formica itself. Then you let it dry for a couple minutes and you can stick it on and it sticks instantly. It's amazing. Then you take this little rubber rolly thing and you roll it around the Formica to get out all the air bubbles. So we didn't have a straight bit but this round over bit worked just as good to flush up all the edges. Dylan saw this really cool technique where after you put down your contact cement, you can put a extension cord down, so then when you are putting your Formica on, you pull out the extension cord and you're not fighting to not have any air bubbles. So we use the same router technique and the same router bit to cut out the top. So 
This is the riser block for the bar and it has additional outlets. Now we're going to go ahead and put on the back of the cabinet and we did those little shallow grooves with the track saw to create that shiplap look. Here are our corbels to the bar and they perfectly tie in with the aluminum on our shelves and our aluminum drawer pulls. Now it's time to put on our drawer fronts and all we did was get some double sided tape, stick it on the drawer itself, stick the drawer front on and then screw it in from the back and you know exactly where your hole should be. Here Dylan is gluing up the bar and I'm coming to learn that you can never have too many clamps. We used a stain called a pecan to stain the bar and it matches the wood going up the walls. So there you guys go. I hope all of y'all enjoyed this video. If you want to see how we made those drawer pulls, we do have another video. Link will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and click that red subscribe button like and comment all of that and here are a couple more videos for you guys to watch see you guys next week